Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 57 of 2019 organising the National Space Science Agency, the NSSA. The NSSA was organised as follows. Chief Executive in the rank of Under Secretary in charge of Terrestrial Space Station Directorate, Data Analysis and Space Imaging Directorate, Artificial Satellites Operation and Control Directorate and Artificial Satellites Design and Build Directorate. The Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications was tasked to implement this decree effective from the date of issuance and to be published in the official gazette. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa has received in Gadebia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who arrived on a two day visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Majesty the King then held a meeting with Prime Minister Modi, during which the two sides reviewed deep rooted historic relations of friendship, binding the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India. They also highlighted aspects of joint cooperation in investment, economic, commercial, health, scientific and technological sectors in adding to the sector of energy. The two sides hailed steadily growing bilateral relations, stressing resolve to pursue efforts to expand joint cooperation in vital sectors, benefit from expertise and investment opportunities and potential in both countries as part of the common strategic interests. His Majesty the King hailed the Memorandum of Understanding and the programme of cultural exchange to strengthen the deep-rooted cultural relations, the declaration of intent in the field of space technology and the application of a memorandum of understanding for cooperation in the field of exploration and use of outer space for peaceful purposes and a declaration of intent on the King of Bahrain's accession to the International Solar Coalition and a memorandum of understanding between the National Electronic Payments Network, Benefit and the Indian National Payments Corporation, NPCI, to discuss cooperation and link payment systems to facilitate payments between the two countries. His Majesty the King and the Indian Premier discussed regional and international issues of mutual concern, stressing both countries' support to regional and global efforts aimed to bolster the pillars of security and stability in the region and the world. They underscored the importance of consolidating the values and principles of tolerance, human coexistence and peace between all peoples and fostering dialogue and the renunciation of violence and extremism.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Ladies and gentlemen, the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم دولة السيد رئيس وزراء جمهورية الهند أصحاب السمو والمعالي والسعادة ضيوفنا الكرام يطيب لنا بداية أن نرحب بكم في مملكة البحرين لنسجل تقديرنا لهذه الزيارة الكريمة في ظل ما يربطنا بالهند الصديقة من علاقات وطيدة تعود بزمنها البعيد لما يقارب سبع آلاف عام من العلاقات التاريخية بين شعبينا بتواصلهم الحضاري والثقافي وتعاونهم التجاري معربين عن فخرنا بما يجمع بلدينا من قواسم حضارية وإرث عريق ومكانة تسجلها ذاكرة التاريخ البشر ونؤكد هنا على اهتمامنا الكبير بتقوية علاقاتنا الثنائية المشتركة كدولتين صديقتين تعملان من أجل سلام العالم ورخائه ونستذكر بكثير من الاعتزاز زيارتنا الأخيرة لبلدكم الصديق في العام 2014 وما أجرينا من مباحثات ومشاورات بناء جاءت نتائجها معززة لتعاوننا تمثلت في إبرام العديد من الاتفاقيات التي تم وضعها موضع التنفيذ لرفع مستويات العمل المشترك في المجالات السياسية والتجارية والصناعية ونود بهذه المناسبة الطيبة التي تجمعنا بكم أن نجدد تقديرنا بما تقوم به الجالية الهندية في البحرين من دور مؤثر وبارز يساهم في إثراء مسيرة التنمية الوطنية وقد جاء تأسيس المعبد الهندوسي قبل أكثر من مائتي عام في المنامة كأقدم معبد في المنطقة دليل واضح على عمق الروابط التي تجمعنا ولما تتميز به البحرين على امتداد تاريخها من قدرة متحضرة على التعايش السمح والاحترام الثابت لحرية المعتقد والديانة دولة الرئيس إن مملكة البحرين على قناعة تامة بالدور الرائد الذي تتولاه الهند الصديقة على الساحة الدولية لما لها من ثقل استراتيجي ومواقف مقدرة في الكثير من القضايا المحورية وهو ما يجعلنا نواصل بالعمل معكم لحفظ أمن واستقرار المنطقة ونخص تحديدا حماية ممرات التجارة والنفط وتقوية تعاوننا في مجالات الأمن السبراني وتكنولوجيا الفضاء وفي مجال الطاقة بأنواعها المتجددة وختاما نكرر ترحيبنا بكم وبوفدكم الكريم ونتمنى لكم دوام التوفيق وموفور الصحة والسعادة ولجمهورية الهند وشعبها الصديق المزيد من التقدم والازدهار والرقي والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. His, now His Majesty the King awards His Excellency Mr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India, the Order of Bahrain First Class.
And it's my pleasure now to invite His Excellency, Mr. Narendra Modi, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India, to deliver his speech. The King of Bahrain, I feel very honored and fortunate to be awarded the King Hamad Order of the Renaissance. I am equally honored by Your Majesty's friendship for me and for my country. I humbly accept this prestigious honor on behalf of 1.3 billion Indians. It is an honor for entire India. This is a symbol of the close and friendly relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and India. These relations go back thousands of years. And in the 21st century, they are expanding in all areas. It is a matter of happiness that in our discussions today, we agreed to add new areas of cooperation and further strengthen our ties. We aim to make India a $5 trillion economy. We would like to Bahrain to partner India more closely for shared progress. I am very happy to note that the Indian origin people are the largest foreign community in Bahrain. They are welcome here with open heart. I thank the leadership of the kingdom and looking after them and making them feel at home here. I consider myself very fortunate to be the first ever Indian Prime Minister to visit this close friend in our neighborhood. I am grateful to the leadership of Bahrain for the generous hospitality for my delegation and me. It will be an honor for me to receive His Majesty in India on a visit. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakir Palace the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where His Highness Sheikh Nasser presented to His Majesty the King the national football team on the occasion of the winning 2019 West Asian Football Federation Championship. His Majesty the King then delivered a speech on the occasion.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أبناء الأعزاء أبطال البحرين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أرحب بكم أجمل ترحيب ويسعدني أن أتقدم للجميع بأجمل وأخلص التهاني بمناسبة فوز منتخبنا الوطني لكرة القدم ببطولة غرب آسيا ونتوجه بتقدير العميق لأعضاء الفريق وطاقمه الإداري واتحاده على هذا الإنجاز التاريخي المشرف الذي جدد تألق الرياضة الكروية البحرينية وجسد قدرة الكفاءة الوطنية على التفوق والتميز في كل ميدان تنافسي ولقد استطعتم من خلال إصراركم على الصدارة أن تقدموا صورة مشرقة لمعاني الجد والاجتهاد كما فعل أهل الذهب من شبابنا في تحقيق أعلى مستويات الإنجاز ونجحتم بتفوق في تحويل مشاركتكم الرياضية إلى حدث وطني أضفى الكثير من الفرح على قلوب أهل البحرين حيث جاءت مشاعرهم العفوية والصادقة معبرة عن فرحتنا جميعا فشكرا لكم وبارك الله في جهودكم فقد كفيتم ووفيتم وبذلك أكملتم العقد الذهبي كما وعدتم كما يطيب لنا أيضا أن نهنئ شبابنا البحريني الذين حققوا خلال هذا الشهر فقط العديد من الإنجازات منها المركز الأول في بطولة مجلس التعاون لكرة السلة للشباب وبطولة غرب آسيا لكرة الطاولة تحت 15 سنة والبطولة العربية لكرة الطائرة الشاطئية شاكرين جهودهم القيمة ومعربين عن فخرنا واعتزازنا بهم على ما حققوه من إنجاز وطني مشرف وفي هذه المناسبة المتميزة بصداها أتوجه بالشكر والتقدير لسمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة وسمو الشيخ خالد بن حمد آل خليفة كل في مجال اختصاصه على دقة العمل والمتابعة الشخصية لضمان توفير أقصى ما يلزم للتقدم بالشأن الرياضي داعيا الله عز وجل أن يجعل التوفيق حليفكم برفع راية الوطن الغالي فيما هو قادم من منافسات رياضية بوركتم وبوركة البحرين بعزيمة أهلها ورعاية المولى عز وجل والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته His Majesty the King expressed admiration for the achievements of the people in Bahrain and in various fields and all professions and their keenness on excelling, wishing them all success. The President of the Bahrain Football Federation, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, presented His Majesty the King with the Championship Cup and commemorative gifts. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his support to the youth and sports movement, noting that His Majesty's support resulted in making many achievements. He pledged to exert further efforts to continue the march of supporting the youth and the sports movement. The national football team expressed thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for the support they receive, pledging to His Majesty to continue to make honourable achievements and maintain the high status of the Kingdom in all upcoming sports championships and events. They also expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid for their support and encouragement and for the keenness on providing all potentialities to achieve honourable results.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, on the sidelines of the Prime Minister's official visit to Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and a number of officials were present during the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strength of relations between Bahrain and India, which continue to expand across all levels, in line with His Majesty the King, King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa's vision, and affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to further strengthening bilateral cooperation, which will contribute to increased investment and opportunities, benefiting both countries and their citizens. He recalled the various mutual visits that have taken place over recent years, which have been reflected by positive growth in bilateral cooperation across various sectors. The Crown Prince paid special attention to the Indian community within Bahrain, highlighting their contribution to the Kingdom's economic development. His Royal Highness and Prime Minister Modi also reviewed regional and international affairs of common interest with the Crown Prince, noting India's role in combating terrorism and enhancing security and stability in the region. For his part, the Indian Prime Minister expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and highlighted His Royal Highness's active support to bolstering ties between Bahrain and India. He further wished the Kingdom continued progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports, the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, held a historic meeting in the presence of the first Deputy President of the SCYS and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, with the members of the SCYS, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, Bahrain Olympic Committee, Presidents of National Clubs and invited athletes, where they discussed the financial dues of athletes, administrators, technicians and trainers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the Royal Directors of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will make Bahraini sports stronger in various international events and will make the Kingdom reach high levels of achievement. He noted that His Majesty the King is keen on Bahraini sports and constantly directs to resolve its issues to preserve everyone's rights and achieve justice. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that providing an optimal environment for athletes' development is the basis of Bahraini sports and its priority affirming his keenness on treating them justly. National Club's president signed an agreement to settle the past dues of athletes' administrators, technicians and trainers to begin taking administrative measures to deliver financial receivables to all as soon as possible. The president sealed the steps taken by His Highness Sheikh Nasser to resolve the issue, which stems from his keenness on developing sports movement within the kingdom.
فاليوم تركيزنا اساسا هو العدل ثم العدل ثم العدل والعداله والحق هو اصلا قلب مشروعنا اللي احنا انشاناه اللي هو مشروع استجابه لو تشوفون استجابه من كل الزوايا بتكتشفون انه هو ينص الى العدل وحفظ الحقوق لان انتم تعرفون احنا اساس حكم سيدي جلاله الملك الله يطول عمره بين كل حين وحين تسمعون من عنده يتردد كلمه هذه بلد المؤسسات والقانون سيدي جلاله الملك هو اكبر داعم لحقوق الشعب وحفظ هذه المؤسسات واستقلاليه القضاء وجعل الامور تمشي بالحق وكل ذي حق حقه فمعناته احنا اليوم لازم ان احنا نتبع قيادتنا الرشيده في سياستهم يجب علينا ان احنا نتابع هذه الامور بكل شفافيه واذا كانت عندنا اي قصور ما ندسها ولا نخشها عن بعض احنا نبرزها عشان نعالجها Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi left Bahrain today after a two-day state visit to the kingdom at the invitation of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Indian Prime Minister was seen off by Deputy Premier His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, Deputy Premier Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, a number of officials and ambassadors of Bahrain to India and India to Bahrain. Prime Minister Modi expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the people of Bahrain for the warm reception and generous hospitality. He affirmed that the constructive discussions and MOU signed during the visit will develop bilateral relations and that India is keen on increasing cooperation fields with the Kingdom. Modi expressed admiration for the developmental achievements in various fields, lauding the Bahraini people's coexistence and wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. Bahrain and India have agreed to boost the relations and cooperation in several areas, signing three MOUs and reaffirming the commitment to pluralism, values of tolerance, peaceful coexistence and religious freedom. At the end of the state visit by Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, to Bahrain, the two sides issued a joint statement that stressed that they underlined during their official meetings their close bilateral ties, deep-rooted in shared history and cultural affinities. The joint statement said that the wide-ranging discussions were held in a sincere, friendly and forward-looking atmosphere with useful exchanges of views on bilateral, regional and multilateral affairs of mutual interest. Hereafter is the full text of the joint statement on the state visit of Prime Minister of India, Sri Narendra Modi, to the Kingdom of Bahrain on August 24, 2019. At the invitation of His Royal Highness Prime Minister of Bahrain, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister of the Republic of India, Sri Narendra Modi, paid a state visit to Bahrain on the 24th and 25th of August 2019. He was accompanied by a high-level delegation of senior officials. The visit of Prime Minister Modi to Bahrain is the first ever visit by an Indian Prime Minister. It was a historical and important milestone in the long-standing brotherly ties and bilateral cooperation between the two countries, founded in close historical bonds, shared principles, mutual interests as well as common aspirations for international peace, stability and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and his accompanying delegation at the Gadebia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of Bahrain and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, a Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister. His Majesty the King hosted an official banquet in honour of the Prime Minister of India. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, King of the Kingdom of Bahrain, bestowed Bahrain Order First Class on His Excellency Sri Narendra Modi, Prime Minister of the Republic of India, in recognition of his efforts to strengthen bilateral relations with Bahrain. Prime Minister was given grand ceremonial welcome at Qadabiya Palace, followed by talks with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Both leaders discussed a range of affairs of the bilateral regional and international front. Prime Minister Modi received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. During the official meetings, the two sides underlined the close bilateral ties, deep-rooted in shared history and cultural affinities, sustained and nourished through growing economic linkages and close people-to-people -people contacts. The wide-ranging discussions were held in a sincere, friendly and forward-looking atmosphere with useful exchanges and views of bilateral, regional and multilateral issues of mutual interest. The two sides expressed satisfaction with the current state of bilateral relations and agreed to further broaden and deepen the engagement in diverse fields of mutual interest and underlined the importance of enhancing high-level political exchanges, defence and higher educational cooperation, trade and economic relations and people-to-people -people linkages. Both sides welcomed the efforts of the High Joint Commission between Bahrain and India. During the meetings, the two sides also noted the increasing trend of bilateral trade and existing potential for the two-way investments, reaffirmed the desire to provide favourable environments for trade and investments. The following MOUs were signed during the visit. Cultural Exchange Programme between India and Bahrain. Statement of Intent on the Collaboration between ISRO and NSSA in the area of space technology. Statement of Intent on the Collaboration of Bahrain with ISA. Memorandum of Understanding between Benefit and NPCI for launch of Rupay card in Bahrain. The Indian side welcomed with interest Bahrain to join the International Solar Alliance, the ISA, recognising the importance it is as an international intergovernmental organisation which has become an effective platform to facilitate the deployment of solar energy. Both sides reaffirmed the condemnation of terrorism in all its forms and manifestations regardless of the identity of the perpetrators and their motives, and they agreed to further enhance cooperation in the field of security, counter-terrorism and the exchange of intelligence and information. The two sides also exchanged views on regional and international issues of mutual interest. The two sides also noted the need for concerted action by the international community against terrorism through early adoption of the UN Comprehensive Convention on International Terrorism and underlined the importance of comprehensive sanctioning of terrorists and their organisations by the UN, expressing satisfaction on their ongoing bilateral cooperation in the area of security. The two sides welcomed the security dialogue meetings at regular at levels and the level of deputy national security advisers. The two sides discussed ways and means to further promote cooperation in cyber security, including prevention or use of cyberspace for terrorism, radicalisation and for disturbing social harmony. Both sides called on all states to reject the use of terrorism against other countries, dismantle terrorism infrastructures where they happen to exist, and cut off any kind of support and financing to terrorists, perpetrating terrorism from all territories against other states and bring perpetrators of acts of terrorism to justice. The two sides agreed to focus on enhancing cooperation in energy, covering the areas of joint exploration and training of human resources. Prime Minister congratulated Bahrain on the recent discovery of huge oil and gas reserves. The Indian side highlighted the interest of its energy companies to pursue opportunities of conventional exploration as well as development of newly discovered oil and gas assets in Bahrain. The two leaders agreed to enhance cooperation to strengthen maritime security in the Gulf region, vital for the security and safety of sea lanes. Both sides emphasised the urgent need to pursue UN reforms, including the Security Council, through an expansion of both categories of its membership to make it more representative and effective in tackling global challenges. Both sides reaffirmed the commitment towards reformed multilateralism and underlined the need to strengthen and reform multilateral system and institutions to address the aspirations of the developing countries. With regards to regional connectivity projects, both sides agreed that it should be based on international law, including respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity of states. 
both the leaders reaffirmed the commitment to pluralism, values of tolerance, peaceful coexistence and religious freedom. Prime Minister of India praised his initiative of the Royal Highness the Prime Minister of Bahrain adopted by the United Nations General Assembly to declare April the 5th as the International Day of Conscience. The Prime Minister of India expressed thanks and appreciation to the leadership and the people of Bahrain for the warm welcome and hospitality and extended his invitation to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister to visit India at a mutual convenient time which was gladly accepted. Prime Minister Modi visited today the Manama-based Hindu temple, offering prayers and unveiling the massive reconstruction of its main building and surrounding sites. More in this report. Bahrain's just streets were graced with the first ever visit of a Prime Minister from the brotherly country of India, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This is Bahrain since 2014 have taken the Hindu temple all around the world. We're so proud, first of all, of our religious freedom, but we're so proud to take the Hindu temple with us. We've taken them everywhere around the world to promote and share the beauty of their history. When we've been to Paris, to London, to Rome, to New York, to Washington, to Los Angeles, to Mumbai, to Jerusalem, we have taken them with us everywhere because they're part of the one family, Bahrain's one family spirit. His Excellency, the Indian Prime Minister, unveils the redevelopment program of the 200-year-old Hindu temple named Shri Krishna. Speaking about King Hamad Global Center for Peaceful co Coexistence, since its, its existence and formation by His Majesty, before that if we say it was, this is Bahrain society, in which we had an opportunity of going all around the world along with all the religious leaders along with us and telling the people of the world that how our little Bahrain is. Global Center has given us more power and more strength in that. Whenever and wherever we go, all the religious leaders together people of that country are so much attracted and they say that Bahrain being a very small country but there are so many qualities and things that we learn from this small country. Talking about the organization for coexistence under the King Hamad's uh, umbrella, there uh, we have been traveling all over the world under this is Bahrain also. Our chairman, Mr. Sushil Muljimel, myself, had also had an opportunity to go through the all over the world and talk about Bahrain. So we really feel that we are ambassadors of Bahrain, not as an Ajanib, not as a foreigners. And uh, this is our home. We always say this is not our second home. Because imagine 200 years of business, 200 years of uh, legacy of the temple. It's really a matter of pride for all of us. The ceremony was organized in collaboration with the King Hamad Center for Peaceful Coexistence. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi has praised the historical ties between Bahrain and India across all vital sectors, saying the traces of fraternal relations go back centuries. Prime Minister Modi was enthusiastically welcomed by a crowd of 15,000 members of the Indian community who gave him a standing ovation as he entered the jam-packed Bahrain National Stadium yesterday afternoon. Modi told the cheering crowd that the signing of a historic MOU with Bahrain would make it possible for Indian expats to pay and send money home in Indian rupees by using rupee cards. The PM thanked His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the invitation and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for a gracious welcome to Bahrain. He said it was a proud moment for him while meeting with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister and he praised the role of the Indian community and the contributions to Bahrain's development. He encouraged all the Indians in Bahrain to be part of India's growth dynamics and invited them to introduce the wonders of India to the Bahraini peers, as the PM believes the growth of the tourism sector. He said that India will be a $5 trillion economy by 2022 and encouraged all the Indians in Bahrain to be part of that growth initiative, adding that the people of India have patience and plans to achieve this national economic development target set by his government. Members of the Indian community in Bahrain have termed Prime Minister Modi's visit a great success and believed it would be further help cement the existing ties. 
Today it's a big honor moment for Narendra Modi ji to visit Bahrain for the first time. It's a historical visit for all Indians. We are all proud of it. And as he said, it is not Bahrain business relationship. It's the brotherhood relationship which we share with Bahrain that has come out today. And we really hope this, this journey is just a stepping stone and it will build a long business relationship for both Bahrain and India. Today's event was uh, mind-blowing, I have to say, because I've been born and raised in Bahrain, and this is my second home, but it is very nice to see uh, the bonding and, uh, what to say, uh, the love of the Indian people and the unity we have, even though we are out of our own country. So it gives, it gives me so much of happiness just to be a part of this gathering, and I have to say we are very grateful to the Kingdom of Bahrain as well for having us here as a guest. I am very excited about this. Our beloved Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, he is one of the best Prime Minister which we have and uh, he is the first time Prime Minister visiting in Bahrain. Bahrain is the super country and they loved Indians and as an Indian I am very proud I am staying in Bahrain. And our beloved Prime Minister, he came here, he visiting, he interact with us. We are very proud of you and uh, royal family also, because they welcome him open heart. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the King Hamad International Centre for Peaceful Coexistence, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, commented that the official visit of India's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, to Bahrain, which is the first of its kind for an Indian Prime Minister, is a culmination of the Bahraini-Indian relations. He noted the importance of Bahrain in India's policy in the West Asia region, which reflects the desire and will of the two countries to maintain the momentum achieved in bilateral relations throughout history. Many religious officials confirmed the deep-rooted relations and their keenness to further support them towards further development. I will say this peaceful existence, this is just form, but Bahrain, because of 200 years of temple in Bahrain, it shows that not only King Hamad or His Majesty uh, has established now, no, since last 200 years, the Al Khalifa family, at that time the ruler of Bahrain, they gave us permission, being a Muslim country, we were allowed to pray and to have our own temple in Bahrain. And that is the great thing for Bahrain and for the rulers of Bahrain. The support by all means was there from Global Center in seeking blessings and the patronage of His Majesty for our celebrations and renovation also. Global Center played the main role in giving us all the necessary support for our celebrations we would not have been able to uh, do this event, the celebration would not have happened if it was not for the support that uh, is provide, was provided by the royal family, but even the King uh, Hamad Global Center. Yeah. And they uh, gave us all the tools, all the necessary uh, guidance, encouragement. Rain has given nationality to many Indians. Yeah. So you know, we are proud. So you know, there is no discrimination exactly. in, in Bahrain on many, many fields. When we walk, and you know, I, I, I would also proudly add that we, as an Ajani, we are a preferred community. The, the Indian community is a preferred community in Bahrain, and we are proudly saying that. That, that uh, a, a, a Hindu community, which has been existence here for hundreds of years, are in a position to absolutely practice their freedom, uh, to to free, freely practice their religion, yeah. freely. Uh, enjoy the, 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 the various customs, uh, practice and, 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 and uh, take part in all the different activities without any interference. I think that itself is a testimony of what this country is all about and what the kingdom is all about.